Cheesy Gordita episode, huh? All right, let's get this over with. Do they know you are my very best friends? Man, I love that episode. But man, did I hate that episode! I think the problem is I loved it and hated it for completely different reasons. What it did right, it did amazingly well. What it did wrong, though, it felt like it almost jumped the shark. Cheesy Gordita did something! Ugh. Fluttershy has always been my least favorite out of the main six, simply because she never does anything. She just sits there and looks cute and is all reclusive and the bronies eat it up. But seriously, her first three appearances in the show, she did literally the exact same thing. Acted shy, talked down an animal, and looked cute. It wasn't until Hurricane Fluttershy that I actually started to cut the yellow mare some slack, as she finally got some character development and actively took steps to overcoming her character weakness. Despite my lack of love for Fluttershy, from a literary standpoint, Hurricane Fluttershy is probably one of the best examples of character exploration and growth in the series. But I digress. What I liked about Keep Calm and Flutter On is that we got to see more of this. Fluttershy was actually shown to be rather empathetic and mindful of the feelings of others, and her doormat tendencies were actually shown in an almost positive light, as she was able to take all the crap that Discord was throwing at her and persevere, eventually befriending him. Wait, wait a minute. Discord? What the fu- <laughs> Okay, so I'm five minutes into this episode and my jaw is on the floor. I literally had to pause the episode and take a moment to collect myself. Celestia wants Discord reformed? Are you f***ing kidding me? Like, okay, sure, we haven't gotten a Celestia episode, and we know very little about her as a character, but still, could she break character any harder? Celestia has been shown to be a wise, calm, neutral ruler, always staying in control of her emotions and keeping her head on straight in the face of opposition. With only one exception. When friggin' Discord broke free! Let's recap for a second. Seeing her sister again after a thousand years? Calm. Crystal Empire returning? Cool. Empire invaded by changelings? Collected. Spirit of Chaos breaks free, FLIPS HER SHIT! What have you done with the elements of harmony? Honestly, what could possibly have possessed her to actually want to do this? How is this complete 180 in her feelings towards Discord justified or explained? Oh, that's right. It isn't. If anything, I would expect to see the more brash, headstrong Princess Luna pushing for a released, reformed, and subservient Discord wanting to harness his seemingly limitless power to serve the crown, with Celestia being the collected calculating princess, as well as having a personal bias against the guy, actively resisting the idea. Oh, oh, and the best thing? Celestia just drops the statue off, gives the girls the elements of harmony, tells them to release Discord, and then just leaves! Are you kidding me? The spirit of chaos is about to be willingly unleashed by your command, and you're gonna go to a freaking royal summit? I think they can hold on for a minute, this is kind of important! My other issue with this setup is the idea of Discord himself being reformed. The premise is that Discord was evil, and now, through Fluttershy's kindness, he is good. But if you ask me, Discord was never evil at all. Think about it. Out of all the villains, Discord is arguably the one with the most power, but the least malice. Nightmare Moon usurped the throne, thrust the land into an eternal night, and battled with her sister for the crown. Chrysalis impersonated royalty, imprisoned a bride-to-be, and had an army invade the equestrian capital. King Sombra enslaved an entire kingdom and forced them into servitude. Discord made it rain chocolate milk. He's the embodiment of chaos, after all and Chaos is inherently neutral and unbiased. He's only perceived as evil by our protagonists because they represent harmony, Discord's opposite. 
being able to reform him and have him turn good kind of spits in the face of his nature. Because making friends and forming a bond with someone is a system of order. In contrast, chaos is intrinsically in constant motion and ever shifting. It makes sense then that Discord is inherently a loner, but it also makes sense that he'd be incapable of changing that. He isn't practicing chaos, he is chaos, and his rule and subsequent imprisonment represented order taking shape in Equestria and overcoming chaos. It was a great metaphor, showing that the elements of harmony, kindness, laughter, generosity, honesty, and loyalty can overcome the chaotic world we live in and present us with some form of structure. But in a world like this, chaos, discord, cannot function, as its rules are, by default, contrast to his very existence, hence why he had to be locked away. But now Discord is just a crazy, goofy villain guy who had a change of heart. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, Discord's antics were a pleasure to watch, and just as enjoyable as they were in Return of Harmony. And I actually really liked his arc from a technical standpoint. It was well-paced and believable, and the way it resolved, having Discord himself put the pieces together, was a really effective moment, and the revelation carried a lot of weight. As my buddy Hirosashi said, We've all had one of those moments when we said something and immediately realized the gravity of our statement. This was really good characterization, and I enjoyed watching the relationship between Fluttershy and Discord develop and reach its conclusion. But why did it have to be Discord? See, this is why I'm conflicted. It was written well. It was executed well. But the circumstance for the character growing, being introduced into the situation, was completely forced. And the growth itself, while technically well done, contradicts everything we've learned about this character. So, keep calm and flutter on. Honestly, I can't rate this one yet. I just don't know. I've watched it a few times now, and I'm just as frustrated now as I was the first time. It was good, but it wasn't good. It was great character development, but it butchered the characters. I don't know. Uh, all right. Friendship is magic. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it!